So let's say that I want multiple actions happening at the same time as I click a button. So let's say for example, I'm going to bring in a button right over here, which I'm going to bring down just like this. So let's say when I click the button, I want this uh, rectangular box to disappear. And then I want, let's say this triangular shape to change its color, just like this. So I want two actions happening in the same time. So to make that happen, I'm going to add in another state to the triangular shape as well. So I'm going to add in another state as change state right over here and press OK. So once I do that, I'm going to just change this color out right here into something like red. All right. So I got two state uh, for the triangular shape right over here. And then I want the um, this shape to disappear. So to make it easier, I'm just going to rename this to rectangle right over here and rename uh, this shape over here to triangle right over here, just like this. So I got two shapes as you can see on the click of a button, I want both of them to happen. So for that, I need to record a series of actions that needs to happen. And for that, I need to go to project over here and then go to advanced actions. So once I go to advanced action, I can give an action name right over here. So I'm just going to rename it as multi actions, just like this. And on the bottom hand list, you can add in the actions in sequence on how you want them to happen. So you can add in as many actions as you want. So you can go over here and double click on this and you can see that you can choose the action that you want. So let's say the first action I want is hide. So I want to hide uh, the rectangular shape right over here. So that's the first action I want. And then I'm just going to double click here. And the other one is I want to change the state. So change the state of triangle to uh, change state right over here. So two actions as you can see right over here. So I'm going to save this as an action right over here. So the script is saved. So you can see that two action has been saved right here as multi action. So first what happens is that it hides the rectangle and second it changes the state from triangle to change state right over here. So I'm just going to close this and then I'm going to come to this button right over here. Once I do that on success, as you can see right over here, I want to select that action right over there. So I'm going to go around over here and choose the action that I made. So to do that, I'm going to go to execute advanced actions right over here. And then under advanced action, you can see the multi action that we made just a while ago. So once I do that, I can just go over here and then click on preview the project. And let's see what happens just like that. So now over here, you can see that I got the button and as I click this, two changes should happen. This should disappear and this uh, color should change. So once I click it, you can see that both of them happen just like this. So the uh, rectangular shape disappears and the triangle changes its state to another color as you can see. And that is how you can utilize advanced actions inside of Adobe Captivate to create re really unique interactions. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.